39, you'll see sea lions that live at the end of the yacht dock. People are watching them right now. The sea lions have been a popular attraction at the wharf now for 30 years at the end of Pier 39 on your right. So we're going to continue on today. Now we have one uh, little detour on our tour today. Uh, well, first of all, we stop on the north end of Golden Gate Park if you want to go to the museums. And then the north end of the Golden Gate Bridge is currently closed. So we'll stop on the south end for 10 minutes. So I do apologize for the delay and for the inconvenience. Today, but a little chilly because it is the middle of winter. Here's Pier 41 on your right hand side. If you take a look out on the top of the bay, you can see off the top of the island. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That is Kyle Green for the. Here we go. So there's Alcatraz on the right, a popular destination for uh, tours. And Alcatraz was named after the island of the pelicans. That's what it's called in Spanish, La Isla de los Alcatraz, or Island of the Pelicans. This is Jefferson Street, where all the gift shops and souvenir stores are located on your left. We're going to head south on Jones Street to our uh, first stop on the tour. On your left, you'll see two new attractions to the wharf, the San Francisco Dungeon Tour coming up on the left and Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. On the right is Bowdoin Sourdough Bread Bakery and Cafe, a popular destination for lunch and dinner. Bowdoin's has been in San Francisco since 1849, since the gold rush. Pier 45 and Seafood Row is also coming up on the right. Here's a guy uh, with his houses on. He better get out of the way or he's going to get run over down here. There they are. They're baking fresh sourdough bread. A San Francisco treat since 1849. Take a look on your left. You'll see the San Francisco Dungeon Tour and Madame Tussauds. That looks like Morgan Freeman. Boy, he must love San Francisco. I see him here every single day. Hello, Morgan. Here's Pier 45, Seafood Row, and the famous crab sign. Hey, Ramon, can you get fresh adobo here at Pier 45? Best place for adobo on the wharf, right? Notice have uh, curbside counters. You can walk up, order fresh seafood, and eat it on the sidewalk without having to go in the restaurant. No fuss, no muss. Al fresco dining at its best. Coming up on the right is the last commercial fishing pier on the wharf, folks. Well, that's a lot of traffic. We're heading towards downtown as soon as we can. Here, the best seafood restaurant on the wharf is on your right, Skoma's, on Pier 47. They've been in town since uh, 1964. Fantastic Chipino at Skoma's. This area was once populated by ferry docks and fishing piers. That's what the whole area was, commercial uh, development, up until the 1960s when all these uh, stores started opening. It's been a popular area for visitors since 1965. 
A lot of great places to eat along the wharf. On the right-hand side are seafood restaurants. On the left-hand side are all the national restaurant chains like Chipotle, In-N-Out Burger, uh, McDonald's. And great places to eat farther down Jefferson Street on the left at the cannery, which was once a food packing plant. You can see uh, one of our 47 hills in the city uh, coming up on the left-hand side. That's Knob Hill, where a lot of mansions are located. And uh, we'll go by Knob Hill twice before we uh, leave this part of town. Teen microclimates. Microclimates. I'll give you an example. You could be standing on one corner. It's sunny. The other side of the street is foggy. That's because of all the hills and valleys in San Francisco. Argentino, Argentinian food, South American food, paella, charapan, empanadas, they're all located here at uh, Tanguito. There used to be a uh, food truck that roamed around the city, now they have a location. In section of town. North Beach section of San Francisco, Little, Little, Little Italy approaches us, or we approach it. Take your pick. Then we're located in the Columbus Avenue, uh, North Beach neighborhood, which is on our left. And the Transamerica Pyramid which opened in 1972. It's 853 feet tall, 260 meters standing at the end of Columbus Avenue. On your left is Point Tower, built in 1933. 210 feet tall, that's on the left on top of uh, Telegraph Hill in the Embarcadero. that guy wearing? Oh, anyway, Lombard Street and Russian Hills coming up on the right. You'll see it in a moment. That church on the left-hand side is Peter and Paul. That's at our next stop. And that's uh, located at uh, Filbert Street in Washington Square. It opened in 1924. Church of Peter and Paul is located at 666 Filbert Street on the Washington Square uh, corner of North Beach. That'll be stop three, by the way. Our most famous landmarks in San Francisco, the famous Crooked Street. Look up the hill there to the right. That's the Crooked Street, Lombard and Russian Hill. On your right is Knob Hill, where the Fairmont Hotel is located, and the Mark Hopkins Hotel. They're up on the right. Stop three for North Beach is coming up on the next corner at Washington Square. Union and Columbus Street, stop to me, it's coming up next. Across the street from uh, Peter and Paul Church and uh, Point Tower. That'll be our next stop, number three. Just to keep us warm, you know, we need to keep warm. Stop three, folks. Actually, I'm the one that's been drinking. He can't drink till he's done with work. This is our number three stop, and we're at Washington Square Park. Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio got married at City Hall and had their wedding photos taken at Peter and Paul Church on your left. Welcome to Restaurant Row, where all your Italian lunch and dinner dreams come true along Columbus Avenue. Great Italian food, espresso coffee, delicatessens, uh, Gelato shops, they're all here in North Beach. You can get any Italian food you want. Hello again on Columbus Avenue. They were on my last tour and they lived to tell the tale. 
Don't they look happy, happy and healthy? That's what happens when you take my tour. It makes you younger and happier. It makes you look forward to uh, a visit to San Francisco at all the spots we see. We have a lot of great places to visit. Chinatown. That's our next stop. Chinatown. There's Chinatown on the way. What's that? That's right. Wow, you're multilingual. Yeah, buongiorno. That's right, buongiorno. That's it. On your left is the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. It's been standing on the corner of Vallejo and Columbus Avenue since 1860. St. Francis is the patron saint of animals, and they bless pets. I'm giving a tour. Hey there. My folks at Colosseo, one of my favorite restaurants in town. Great. Italian food at Colosseo. Yeah, spaghetti, ravioli. That's right. Spaghetti, zucchini, Lamborghini, Ferrari, <laughs> Maserati. Ramon is back in business. I'll stop by and have some dinner later at Colosseo. <laughs> On your right uh, is uh, the Pijaza Market. And it's been in San Francisco now since uh, 1946. On your left is Cafe Trieste. It's been on this corner also since 1946. It, this was a hangout for Jack Kerouac and the Beatniks back in the 1940s and 50s, Cafe Trieste. Got a, uh, they have a parade down Market Street on Halloween. Yes, they did. Yeah. Was our bus the World Series bus that held the trophy and all the players? Yes, yeah, it was. 61829, the World Series bus. We're sitting on it right now. You know who's driving the bus that day was uh, Oleg. And he took a bunch of pictures of the World Series trophy. Down on the right at Jackson in Columbus. Stop four coming up in one, two, three blocks. Not this corner, but the next corner. Broadway was once known as the Wicked Pacific, where all the strip clubs were located in the 1950s and 60s. That's on your left. up on the right. Oh boy, a lot of traffic going downtown. Grant Avenue in Chinatown will be on your right in just a moment. On the left hand side, the saloon has been a San Francisco institution since the 1850s during the gold rush. There's Chinatown on the right, folks. And the North Beach mural by Bill Weber is also on the right. And you'll see a lot of Italian Americans. Is the Columbus Towers building, that green flat iron style building from 1907, is on the corner of Kearney and Columbus Avenue. That is where director Francis Ford Coppola has his offices. He owns the Columbus Towers building, and he has his offices on the top floor. Well, these gentlemen are walking on the left used to be the Hungry Eye Nightclub, a popular comedy club in the 1960s. On your left, it is now the Adler Museum and Cafe on Saroyan Avenue. That's where Bill Cosby used to perform and the Smothers Brothers, um, Mort Saul, Lenny Bruce. They all performed at the, uh, the old Hungry Eye back in the 60s. It's coming up in two blocks past the Columbus Towers building. Hey there, folks. And, uh, the Barbary Coast are on your left. Some of the oldest uh, buildings in town are located along Jackson Street on the next block in the Embarcadero, built in the 1850s during the time of the gold rush. And then this building, which is straight ahead, 853 feet tall, 43 stories tall, currently the tallest building in San Francisco. The, what look like fins on the side of the building are the elevator shafts. And uh, this building has been closed to the general public since 2001. I actually had a chance to go up to the top of the, the uh, Transamerica Pyramid when it opened in 1972, and it's just a great view of the Bay Area. Stop four is coming up on the right. Buildings that were built in 1851 and 1855 during the gold rush. We're going to continue going south and then we'll go east along Clay Street to the financial district and the Embarcadero. We're in the financial district. 
Our next stop will be near the Embarcadero Center and uh, the Ferry Building. Stop 5 is coming up on Clay and Front Street. You can see the Embarcadero Towers on our right. Right-hand side uh, is uh, the former uh, Yerba Buena Cove, which used to be part of the San Francisco Bay on the right-hand side. There are 300 sailing ships underneath all those buildings and rubble from the 1906 earthquake. It's about landfill for about four blocks just south of where we are now. The ferry building and the, the Bay Bridge are at the end of Clay Street. We're going to make a turn going south before we get to the far end of Clay Street. And our not, number five stop for the Embarcadero is coming up in two blocks. Anybody getting off at stop five? These are the Embarcadero Towers, built in 1985. There are four office towers with shops and restaurants on the ground floor of each. And we'll turn into the Embarcadero Center in just a moment. Please, uh, yeah, don't stand up while we're moving, please. Anyway, we're heading down to Market Street in the downtown area. The ferry building is on your left there, built in 1896. going east, going west on Market Street towards downtown next. 7.8 on the Richter scale. After the earthquake, we had a fire that lasted three days. The earthquake and fire in 1906 in San Francisco and killed about 3,200 people in this part of town. Our next stop is going to be here on Market Street, stop six at uh, Gary and Market, then we'll go to Union Square and across the bay to the East Bay. That's one of our F-Line trolley cars going to the front wharf there on our left. You can see some uh, condominiums being built just south of downtown on the left-hand side. Next stop is coming up in two blocks from Market Street. Yeah, a lot of people are leaving uh, town, going south on the Oakland Bay Bridge on our left here, or taking Highway 101 to the South Bay. And, uh, Market. If you're getting off in the downtown, this will be your stop in one block. And then our next stop will be Union Square. Coming up on the left is the uh, Palace Hotel. This is the admission statue on the right. California became the 31st state of the Union in September of 1850 during the gold rush. And this is a miner. 62,000 miners came to California to mine gold up in the gold fields, two hours north of here. They dug about $8 billion of gold uh, out of the ground. Stop. The inside built in 1875. A lot of Crabtree was the uh, darling of the West, the po most popular female entertainer in the 19th century. Now we're heading towards all the department stores in the downtown area. Union Square is coming up next. We're taking a detour to avoid some traffic, though, to the square. Who wants to sit in traffic? Seven is coming up, folks. All the major department stores in town are located in this area. It was pretty busy this weekend, and people uh, 
uh, attending many of the after uh, Christmas sales at all of our major department stores. Go. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and we'll roll in another new year on uh, Thursday, so I do want to wish all of you a happy New Year's. A prosperous one, and healthy one for you. Built this name in Marcus 45 years ago. They incorporated the original lobby for the city of Paris. That's from 1895 on your left. It has a Tiffany stained glass dome on the top floor and the famous 100-foot-tall uh, city of Paris Christmas tree, which you'll see in the lobby here on the left in just a moment. Street and the ice skating rink, which will be here through mid-January. It's coming up on the right. There it is, the City of Paris Christmas tree. Here we go, stop seven is coming up, folks, at Powell and, Mar and Geary. Stop seven. Watch your step, folks. Enjoy yourself at Union Square. Cable car. And we'll continue down Geary. We're going to the Hilton Hotel. That's where we're heading next, everybody. And then we'll continue down Market, uh, going west out of the downtown area. Make a detour, we're gonna make a detour. We're going to Civic Center now. We're just doing what we can to avoid some traffic. The American Conservatory Theater is on your left hand side, and the current theater are both on your left. Built in 1909 and of here. populated uh, areas in the U.S. Church on the right. It's uh, 300 feet tall, 100 meters tall. Built in 1960. That's St. Mary's on the right. Also known as the Maytag Church. It uh, resembles the agitator on a washing machine. Hence the name Maytag Church. Koreatown and Japantown are straight ahead. Most of the parks in San Francisco, like the one coming up on the right, are built on hillsides because we're a very hilly city, 47 hills. And uh, our next destination, oh man, look at all this traffic, is uh, in Alamo Square, which is also a park on a hillside. 